So give it to me again. You said you roofied the subject. No, ma'am. He actually roofied himself. I just switched the glasses on him. You are a wonder, Mrs. Ryder. That she is. No, I was just trying to keep him here until y'all got here. That's it. You helped us bust up an organ trafficking ring. No, Lexi will get justice. Hey, they're not wrong. This is all because of you. Well, I didn't do it by myself, but I appreciate y'all. Now, does somebody want to help me try to figure out how I'm going to explain this to my husband? That's what I need. Yeah, well, you better think of something. And quick. Yeah. Grace! There he is. Grace! Damn it. Are you okay? No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Huh? I'm okay. I'm okay. Why don't you just stay at home like I told you to? I know. Yeah, she doesn't do that well. No. Why yeah. did you call me? Well, there wasn't a fire, babe. Why would I have called Oh, well, you? yeah, there wasn't a fire. Yeah, no, I called the police. I can't thank you all enough. No, it it wasn't them, actually. Uh, it was him. So that's the fella? Yeah, it is, actually. Detective, let, let me just say something to you real quick. The next time my wife tells you something, you better listen to her. Yes, I'm starting to see that. Well, don't just start. Judd, he listened to me tonight, okay? And as somebody that listens for a living, I do think that's a skill that can be learned. Right, Detective? Well, I appreciate that, Ms. Ryder. Firefighter, you got a hell of a wife there. Well, don't forget it. And if I were you, I wouldn't put one foot wrong. She'll notice. Mm-hmm, yes, and that's why he never will. You heard her. Just go home, please, yeah. God. All right.